And so today I want to talk about JSON module imports and CSS module imports. Now this is in the browser. This is the ability to import a JSON file or a CSS file without doing a fetch call first to bring back the file. So I've done videos recently on ES modules themselves. So how those works, how you can use ES modules in the browser as well as in Node and also dynamic imports. So how you can, after the page loads, load content at that point, sort of a lazy loading approach to bringing in additional scripts. So right here, I've got a CSS file, which is linked to, and I've got a script that I've defined as module. So these are both attached to the page. My JSON file that I'm going to bring in and use on my page, this is it. It's just a simple little piece of data, uh, nothing to really show in the CSS. The app.js file that we're going to build right here, and this is the page that we're going to render it on. So the CSS is already rendering right now. So I'm going to remove that before we do the imports, but for right now, there it is. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring that JSON data in here. Now, this was something, the JSON modules, this was something that was added in Chrome 91, so not that long ago. And in Chrome 93, which was only about a month ago, CSS imports were added as well. Now, Edge and Opera have support as well. Firefox is under development. Safari, who knows? Um, that aside, <laughs> let's jump in and start doing some imports. So with the JSON, if I want to do just a standard import the way I would with a JavaScript module, we use our import command and we say, I'm going to import into something called data. This is going to be my variable data from data.json. Now, if that was all that I was doing, this would be fine if this were a JavaScript file, but I save this, I'm going to get an error in the browser and it says, Hey, you can't bring in anything that's not application slash, uh, that's application JSON. You can only bring in things that are text slash JavaScript as the MIME type. So this doesn't work on its own without the new keyword. We can say, Hey, I want to assert that this thing is a JSON file. Yes, it's a module. Yes, I'm bringing it in and I'm telling you explicitly that this thing is going to be JSON. My error is gone now. There is no problem. I don't have to use fetch. I now have something called data, this variable right here, which I can use on my page. So if I wanted to write it out, console.log data dot, and these are what I'm bringing in here. So let's just do the characters array. I save that and there it is. I've got the data available. I didn't need to use fetch. I just imported it. So just like any other module, I've brought it in and I have this variable that I can access it. And the cool thing about it is it automatically handles this like other modules are handled. It's an asynchronous thing, but it understands that it's not going to run anything else on the page until it has this. It needs this thing to run the rest of the script. Okay. Now dynamic import. So I'm just going to comment that out so we don't get that message again and again. The dynamic import version means I can call the import method to bring it in when I want to do this. So to make a, to add a delay, I'm going to use set timeout just so it doesn't run immediately. And I'm going to have a function that runs and we'll say after two seconds, don't want to make it that long of a delay to wait. So I'll just move this in here. This is what I'm going to start off with just so after two seconds, we will get, there it is, time's up. Now to do the import command, same as with JavaScript, when you're importing a JavaScript module, we would just say what we're trying to import. It's the JSON file. But again, if I just leave it like that, I'm going to get that error coming up saying you can only bring in JavaScript files unless you add the second parameter. The second parameter is going to be that object where we assert and the assertion is going to be an object, same as we have right here above with type JSON. Now I will have access to this data and we can access it as well. So I bring this in 
I don't assign this to a variable because this is an asynchronous thing, just like a fetch, which means at the end, we have a then. We put the then on the end of here, and I come up with a variable that I want to use, which in this case is going to be mod. Mod is my module. It's the module object. If we write it out in the console, we will see after the two seconds, time's up, and there it is. There is our module. Inside this module object, there is a property called default. That is the actual contents of the file. So the JSON string in the file has been taken out of the module and actually converted into a JavaScript object. And it's inside of default. So we can say mod.default. That is the whole thing. If I write the, that out after the two seconds, there we go. There's the entire object, both properties, all of it. So you would use the default mod.default as the whole thing, extract what you want, use what you want from that file. And that's it. That's the whole thing. That is dynamically importing a JSON file. No fetch, similar syntax. You're doing import instead of fetch. You've got a then, but we're skipping over that first one where we have to convert it from the JSON string into the JavaScript object. All right, I will comment out this one. And I'm also going to jump over here and comment out my CSS. Save that. Now we can see the CSS is no longer being applied to the page. I want to bring in my CSS and apply it. I'm just going to do the static one. The dynamic works the exact same way. So import, I'm going to call it sheet. It's my style sheet from, we have to provide the full path, just like the other imports. So import sheet from main Dutch CSS. And again, we have to, otherwise we get that same error. And I'm sure you can guess what this is. There we are. So import the CSS file, type CSS. I save it. It has brought the CSS into my page, but it hasn't applied it. It's kind of like creating a DOM element, but not adding it to the screen. I've brought in the CSS, but I haven't applied it. If I want to apply it, we just do document dot adopted style sheets equals, and it's an array that it gets. So if there was another one, we're sort of adding that in and here it is sheet. And now it's applied and that's it. Now you can import JSON files and CSS files. But again, bear in mind that this is a fairly new thing. CSS only a month, a uh, month old, and it's just Firefox, sorry, not Firefox, Edge, Opera, and Chrome. And with these, the importing with the assert keyword, again, Edge, Chrome, and Opera. Firefox under development, Safari, who knows? Hopefully in the near future, they will support this as well. And that's it. Have some fun with that. Good luck with it. And as always, thanks for watching.